Real estate investing is rarely what you think it is. Today we're visiting a property in North Fort Worth, Texas, and we're going to walk you through and show you what a real investor property looks like. So if you're here for some real estate reality, we've got it for you right here. So stay tuned and enjoy our walkthrough with us. So as you can see, this uh, property has uh, quite a bit that it needs. We're going to be uh, doing a little bit more cleanup on the outside and probably selling this to another investor who's looking for a project. We're uh, kind of stacked right now. I think we've got eight going on, so we don't really have uh, a ton of time. So while we're waiting to have time to get our crews over here, we may just market it and see if another investor maybe has you know something that uh, this is something they'd like to take on we uh, we buy a lot of property and so we can't always uh, start all the ones we get because we don't really know exactly what interval we will be getting these in as you can see this has got you know quite a bit of foundation issues and there's something kind of unique about this house as well and that is that if you look at these windows you might notice that the, this gap is kind of deep over here. That's because this house started uh, life as a house with siding, but they decided to brick over the uh, outside and make it a, into a brick house, which wasn't really a brick house to begin with. There were a couple of vehicles that were in this parking area that just got cleared out last night. We did a walk through yesterday and they still hadn't removed the vehicles. so. That was a condition that we had for closing. You know, pretty nice sized backyard with a shed that's probably gonna come down over there. And then a nice, really rich red color here on the back. Uh, window ACs is always a sign that the central air, if there is such a thing, doesn't function. Uh, I don't think this one even had central air to begin with. Uh, so that's something to Consider being here in Texas, uh, houses without air just pretty much don't happen, and window units aren't very efficient. Um, they cleaned up most of the stuff on the uh, outside, but then you can see the major cracks here in this uh, porch in the, in the front, and then they added the, the porch top, and that wasn't all that well done. Although I think I just, saw like a like an outdoor entertainment center we'll take a look and see if uh if i caught that right yeah there's quite a bit that's going to need to be done here and let's see oh yeah there it is there it is that uh, i don't think that's probably got bluetooth but got the outdoor entertainment area along with the uh, obligatory bug zapper so yeah you can sit out here on a Typical 100 degree night and have a little fun watching bugs get zapped. And so this place is, uh, this is really ready to be, ready to be flipped. As we, uh, as we go inside, um, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty dark in here because the power's off. Um, and one of the things that people have a hard time getting used to when you buy houses like this is there's a there's a certain smell that goes along with this and it's kind of you know maybe mold mildew stale but they all kind of have the same smell so we, we kind of know like hey, all right this is one that's really going to need a lot um th this is really going to be a complete a complete gut job um however it's a, a really good sized lot um it has you know 
this AC or excuse me, this water heater doesn't look, you know, particularly old. Um, this, uh, gas stove, I wouldn't like that to save my life. And that's probably why it's pulled away from the wall. Uh, all the, all the flooring needless to say is going to need to be replaced. And then as we head into a couple of the, uh, the bedrooms, you, know, you can see they're pretty nice sized rooms. We like bedrooms that have windows on two walls because when you uh, renovate them, they end up looking really nice. This has the older, you know, small closets. Um, and then you see that somebody had an issue with the drywall here. Um, if you're if you're just getting started out, you know, don't get too wound up about things like that because you're going to be replacing a lot of that drywall anyway. Um, and it doesn't look like there's a whole lot I can show you here just because they've got room darkening blinds. But, you know, things like trim, drywall, flooring, you're going to be replacing all that no matter what. So when you go in, it doesn't really matter what condition that's in because, you know, you're going to put all that in a dumpster and kind of start fresh. You're really looking for the layout and is the layout something you can work with as is or could you easily modify it? Um, on TV, you know, they're always removing walls and putting in beams. And, you know, sometimes that makes sense. A lot of, a lot of times it doesn't. You're really better off if you just have a good layout to begin with. Um, another thing, uh, you'll, I'm standing in the front door, and you can see straight through to the, uh, the back door. And these older homes, particularly here in the south, where there's a lot of heat, the door's always lined up like that, so you could open them both and get some uh, breeze blowing through the house. So this is a really old, I think, 1930s home. But we're pretty excited to uh, offer it up to people because I think this is going to turn into a really nice renovation for someone. And the area is really recovering uh, with a good-sized lot like this. Um, this is really going to be a, a nice home for someone to live in and it's going to sell for a, you know, a pretty decent, uh, pretty decent price. So if you have any interest in what you're seeing here, make sure and like and subscribe at the bottom and we'll just continue to show you uh, all the, all the real estate reality you can handle because this is what it's really like. Um, there aren't a whole lot of paint and carpet deals out there. Uh, this is the kind of thing. That well, we hope you enjoyed this walkthrough as much as we enjoyed showing it to you. If you'd like to see more content like this, click on that red subscribe button below, turn on notifications so you'll be notified every time we post new content like this. And we'll tell you all about real people, real situations, real challenges, and real solutions. So until next time, thanks for watching and we'll talk to you soon.